Hello, and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us again. Going to be speaking with author Jill Rosenzweig this evening. She's joining us here to talk about her brand new children's book just released in July of this year and actually uh, just received the 2020 Gold Mom's Choice Award. It's a book entitled Bailey Bloom and the Battle of the Bug. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Jill, and thank you for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me, Neil. It's good to be here. Well, you're an author. Is that your area of expertise or was this something that just came upon you while you were doing other things? Well, I'm actually an attorney. (laughs) I've been practicing law for about 20 years now and I've been writing on the side. I've actually been working on a novel for the past year or so, Mm -hmm. but this is my first children's book and it came about rather accidentally. So I wrote it pretty much just to read it to my kids. Mm -hmm. And when I wrote it for them, they liked it so much that I decided to just go ahead and publish it. What type of a children's book is it? What, uh, what's the subject matter? So the book is specifically about the COVID-19 pandemic and the book came about, my kids are, um, I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old and they were in school and like most other kids, I guess, in March, their school suddenly shut down Mm -hmm. and we were home learning from home and my kids were asking a lot of questions about what was going on with this virus. And one of the things that I saw was that there were people in the United Kingdom that were making rainbow art and putting it in their windows and kids were going around the neighborhood looking for rainbow art and almost treating it like a scavenger hunt Mm -hmm. and I thought it was such a cute idea Uh, so I decided to do it with my kids and when we were making this huge rainbow poster for our window I explained to my five-year-old daughter that when people are out walking they could feel lonely and sad and seeing the rainbow in the window might make them feel better. And as a result, it would help with their immune system. And I I explained it in very simple terms, but I was explaining to her that when people are really worried, it could make them more susceptible to getting sick. Mm -hmm. And that really clicked for her. She realized that in her mind, she was helping to combat COVID And it made her feel really good about herself. And from there, we started to do a bunch of different things where my kids felt like they were doing things to help with the pandemic. And it made them feel less helpless. And so the book is really a reflection of that. That's pretty much the message of the book. It's about these three girls who are best friends who love to play superheroes at school. And when the pandemic starts, they realize that they could be real life superheroes by engaging in acts of kindness toward their neighbors and their community. As kids go to school, I'm sure kids know when other kids get sick. I mean, getting sick is a part of life. Right. How were you able to differentiate the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic as opposed to the sniffles or maybe something that they said they were going to get vaccinated for before they went to school? Right. I think that that was very tricky. And I think that the focus, at least in our home, was to explain to our kids that this is not something that they may have to worry about in terms of themselves personally, Mm -hmm. but that older people are susceptible to getting really, really sick and that it's not a normal sickness. It's something that could make their older neighbors, their grandparents really sick and that we have to do our part to help protect those people and staying home and staying away from other people was what we needed to do to make sure that we were helping keep other people safe. So that was the messaging that we used in our house. And I think every family chooses to approach it differently. But for us, I think it was important to make sure that our kids didn't feel scared that something might happen to them personally, but that they also understood how serious this was. How did you impart a sense of um, a sense of hope for the future? As adults, we're all wondering, is this ever going to go away? Are we ever going to get back to what we called normal or is this the way that it's going to be? And if so, how do you explain that to a child? Uh, Well, five and eight, they've only had five or eight years to to be normal. (laughs) Right. Absolutely. I think that we focus on what we can do and that the things that we are doing are helping to get us closer to things getting back to normal. So when we talk about 
we're staying home, we're washing our hands, we're wearing a mask, we're showing our kids that they're doing their part to get us closer to returning to normal. And so we don't make promises with respect to any timelines. We just talk about what we can do each day to get us closer to that goal. Does your book kind of help kids talk to each other about what's going on? Maybe one of your children who's read the book uh, can help another child at school who may be afraid. Right. I think that actually it's funny. There are certain lines in the book. The book is uh, written in rhyme. And I think that there are certain lines in the book that actually parents have told me that they've started to use with their kids and that their Mm -hmm. kids are starting to use that sort of help them understand There's one line in particular where I talk about the virus jumps from person to person, but if we all just stay at home, the virus cannot worsen. And it's just a sort of giving kids those words to use to help them understand Mm -hmm. what exactly the virus is doing. Um, The other thing with it is that because the book focuses on kids doing things to help their neighbors and their friends, A lot of kids that I know of that have read the book have started to ask their parents, can I buy groceries for my neighbors? Can I send a card to my friend to help them feel better? So those are ways where I think kids are starting to sort of do things together since reading the book, where I know that my daughter and her friends sort of got together to do certain projects to help the neighborhood. So I think that it is giving kids certain tools to deal with the situation and also parents an indirect way of talking about the pandemic without being too forceful about it. Because I think it's hard when you have difficult topics, it's really hard to know whether you should bring it up with your kids because maybe they're not thinking about it. And so maybe you don't want to bring it up and make them worry about something that's not on their mind at the same time kids will worry about things and not necessarily articulate that to their parents. So this is one of those things where I wrote a book that I thought was fun on its own, even if it had nothing to do with the pandemic. It talks about superheroes and unicorns and rainbows and all those fun things that kids like to read about. And woven in there is the pandemic And it's kind of a natural way to talk about the pandemic with your kids without it being too aggressive. I also understand that, uh, as I I mentioned, you um, received the 2020 Gold Mom's Choice Award. And um, you're also uh, helping out Save the Children, I do believe. Yes, I'm actually doing so. I'm donating a portion of the proceeds, which felt important to me because I think the message of the book really is about engaging in acts of kindness and giving back. So it felt like an important thing to do with the proceeds from the book. And the Mom's Choice Award, I mean, (laughs) I was absolutely blown away. And it's really exciting, especially since this is my first children's book. So it's all been very exciting. Well, we would like to uh, get a copy of your book. Uh, Where can we go online and get some more information? The easiest place to find it, especially right now with so many people being home, is Amazon. So if you look for Bailey Bloom and the Battle of the Bug on Amazon, it's available even outside of the U.S. It's pretty much available on every single Amazon that you can think of. Well, I appreciate you joining us here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program and this discussion with Jill Rosenzweig are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au.